My name is Adam Walensky. I'm with NPL Construction. Today we're here at Roundtable Live down at Planet Underground, and we've got the privilege of showing um, a big part of our damage prevention process when it comes to trenchless technology. Here today we've got George, and we've got one of our Vermeer directional drills. And what we've done is we've shot in uh, to, to pull back, or shot out to pull back some service pipe. But before we pull back that gas service pipe, what we like to do is we like to pull a camera through the hole. By pulling the camera through the hole, as you can see George has on the screen here, he's basically verifying that we don't have any cross bores or any utilities uh, in conflict of our bore. It's one step in our very lengthy damage prevention process. In many circumstances, in the city of Chicago for people's gas, also at NICOR gas here in this direct area, what we do is we have a pre-camera process where we would actually go pre-camera the main line and all the sewer laterals before even doing any underground work. When we install the services, we go and we take it a step above and we actually pull that camera back through the borehole to make sure that no utilities are in conflict, namely sewer laterals or sewer mains. Once we've completed those two processes, we have what we call a post-camera process. The post-camera process once again consists of having a crawler camera going through the sewer main line and launching up the sewer laterals up to homes, businesses, to verify that there are no cross bores as a result of our work. So we really have three steps involved in the entire damage prevention process. All this information here, we go ahead and we um, capture that data, we store it electronically, and uh, we keep it. So in the event down the road, if for some reason there was something that was thought to be a cross bore or some sort of damage thought to be a result of our work, we go ahead and we have all that information where we can go ahead and um, basically ensure that our work did not result in a cross bore. It's a significant amount of peace of mind. It's the right thing to do. What they're using here is a rigid sea snake along with a mobile monitor. If you take a look, George has a screen. Part of his job when he goes and he pulls it back is he has to uh, look at the screen and look for any evidence of clay tile, if there's any plastic sewer, um, anything in the ground that looks to be uh, out of place or shouldn't be in that hole, that's what he's looking for. After we go and uh, pull the camera back, we have this data, we actually have somebody that will go and double check it in the office as well. So that way we got a second set of eyes on it. Because as you can see here in the field with the sunlight, the shadows, everything, sometimes it's difficult to catch everything.